How's it going? Tuesday, March 8th, 2022, episode 412. My favorite baseball records. I've got 112 of them. I'm just going to list the record and the players. Hall of Famers, you have to be in the Hall of Fame. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list the player and the stat. Let's see how this goes. I'm kind of winging it. You know what I mean by winging it? Meaning I'm not prepared. I just speak off the cuff. And a lot of my videos, I've done that. I don't have it written out. I just talk, and whatever comes to mind comes out. What do you think of that approach? Obviously, my favorite baseball record, and I've said it a lot in all my videos, is career batting average. That really marks the accomplishment and the achievement of a Hall of Famer. What was your career batting average? Was it 250, 260, 280, 300, 350? About 366, which is the record. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 career batting average. The top 12 that stand out in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Ty Cobb, 366. Number two, Roger Hornsby, 358 career. Three, Ed Delante, 345. Four, Tris Speaker, 344. And he's tied with two other guys. Billy Hamilton, 344. And Ted Williams, 344. Isn't that interesting? Three guys, career, 344 batting average. Then you have... Three guys tied at 342. Dan Brothers, Babe Ruth, and Harry Heilman. All career 342. How about the Babe, a slugger? Ends up with a 342 career batting average. Two players at 341. Willie Keeler and Bill Terry. And then you have Lou Gehrig. 340. Those are the top 12 in the Baseball Hall of Fame, and that's my, that's, that's my number one top favorite baseball record. Number two, I have to say the uh, highest batting average in one season. That really stands out for me. Did you know that in 1894, Hugh Duffy posted a 440 batting average? He had 237 hits and 593 at-bats. So it's legit. It's not a fluke. Second highest, Nap Lajoie had a 426 batting average one season. That's number two. Three, two guys are tied. Willie Keeler and Rogers Hornsby, 424 for a season. And these are all at 500 or more at-bats. Then you have two guys at 420, George Sussler and Ty Cobb, and then Sam Thompson, 415. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. The top seven career batting averages in one season. Hugh Duffy, Nap Lajoie, Willie Keeler, Roger Hornsby, George Sussler, Ty Cobb, and Sam Thompson. Then... My third favorite baseball record, career home runs. Not just one season, but for career. Henry Aaron is on top, 755. Babe Ruth, 714. Willie Mays, 660. Ken Griffey, 630. Jim Tomey, 612. So you have three guys in the Hall of Fame with 600 or more home runs. You have two with 700 or more. Then you have a lot of guys at 500 or more. I'm just going to list a couple. Frank Robinson, 586. Harmon Killebrew, 573. Reggie Jackson, 563. Mike Schmidt, 
548. So you got 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. I'm just listing nine guys, the top nine. Then after that, my fourth favorite baseball record is home runs in one season. And it's in the, you have to be in the Hall of Fame. We know Roger Maris had 61, but he's not in the Hall of Fame. So as far as Hall of Famers, number one, Babe Ruth, 60. Then number two, Babe Ruth, 59. He has, a, he has the top two spots. Then you have two guys with 58, Jimmy Fox, Hank Greenberg. Then you have three guys with 56. No, two guys with 56. Ken Griffey, 56. And then, he, and then he repeated it and did it again another season. So he had 56 twice. And then Hack Wilson, 56. So that's my fourth favorite baseball record. What's my fifth one? Most hits in one season. We know Ishiro Jazuki holds the record, 262 hits in one season. But he's not in the Hall of Fame yet. So according to the Hall of Famers, George Sisler leads 257 in one season. Bill Terry, second, 254. Then Al Simmons, 253. Roger Hornsby and Chuck Klein both had 250. Ty Cobb, 248. And George Sisler, 246. Boy, Sisler, 257 hits. And then another season, he goes for 246. What an accomplishment. My sixth favorite baseball record. Career, most hits. Now, who leads in hits? Pete Rose, 4,256. He's not in the Hall of Fame. He should be. Ty Cobb, 4,189. Two guys with 4,000 or more hits. Then you have Hank Aaron, 3,771. Stan Musial, 3,630. Tris Speaker, 3,514. Derek Jeter, 3,465. Cap Hansen, 3,435. Honest Wagner, 3,420. Kyle Yaskrimski, 34-19, and Paul Molitor, 33-19. Hmm. Interesting record. Most hits per career. My seventh favorite baseball record. Most hits in one game. Well, there are some guys that have seven hits in a game. One guy had nine in an 18 inning game. His name was Johnny Burnett. Burnett had nine hits in one game. He's not in the Hall of Fame. So as far as Hall of Famers, who leads with most hits in one game? Well, a lot of guys get six hits in a game, but there are two guys that did it twice. Jimmy Fox, and Jim Botley both had six hits in a game twice. So I like that. That's number seven. Number eight, most 200 hit seasons. If you get 200 hits in a season, that's remarkable. Pete Rose leads with 10 200 hit seasons. Now you keep... You may keep asking the question, why are you listing Pete Rose if he's not in the Hall of Fame? Aren't you just strictly dealing with Hall of Famers? Yes, but in my opinion, Pete is a Hall of Famer, and he should be in. To keep him out is a travesty. It really is. Look at his records. They're legitimate. Isn't the Hall of Fame to recognize what you did on the baseball field? You may argue he did, he did other things that keep him out. It's debatable. You keep him out because of that? 
What about the records? What about all the other things that players did in their career? There's a lot of Hall of Famers did a lot of dubious things, yet they're in the Hall of Fame. They got suspended. They fought with fans. Even some guys tried to kill people. Yet they're in the Hall of Fame. As far as I remember, I don't remember Pete Rose trying to kill someone. Anyway, that's a debate for the ages. All right, most 200-hit seasons, Pete Rose, 10. Ty Cobb had nine. Derek Jeter, Lou Gehrig, Paul Wehner, and Willie Keeler all had eight 200-hit seasons. Wade Boggs, Charlie Gehringer, Roger Hornsby had seven, all had seven. Stan Musial, Bill Terry, Al Simmons, Sam Rice, George Slisser, Je Jesse Burkett all had six. Kirby Puckett, Tony Gwynn had five. And Chuck Klein had five. Vladimir Guerrero and Paul Molitor, four. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, my ninth favorite baseball record. Most times heading for the cycle. Strictly dealing with Hall of Fame players, there's about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys that have hit for the cycle twice, not just once, but twice. George Brett, Joe DiMaggio, George Susser, Chuck Klein, Mickey Cochran, Lou Gehrig, Joe Cronin, Archie Vaughn, and Bobby Doerr all hit for the cycle twice. Then my 10th favorite baseball record. Most total bases in one game. Did you know that Sean Green, he's not in the Hall of Fame, but he holds the record, 19 total bases. In one game, he had four home runs, a double, and a single. It went six for six. Four home runs is 16. A double is two more, makes it 18. And a single makes 19 total bases. How about that? But as far as Hall of Famer, who has the most total bases that's in the Hall of Fame? Mike Schmidt had 17 in one game total bases. And then Ty Cobb and Lou Gehrig both had 16 total bases. All right, so that's 10. That's the first 10 favorite baseball records. I've got about 100 more I'm going to deal with, okay? And I'll list all the accomplishment in, subs in following videos. But for now, number one. Career batting average. Two, highest batting average in one season. Three, career home runs. Four, most home runs one season. Five, most hits in a season. Six, most hits in a career. Seven, most hits in a game. Eight, most 200 hit seasons. Nine, most times hitting for the cycle. And 10, most total bases in one game. So that does this video. I'll list 10 more in my next video. Thanks for watching. I'm out.